end of a narrow street. A kind old priest with tears in his eyes wiped the dust from his tired feet. He sat with Hiram and stared at the ground. The words were hard to say. Hiram, he said, I have very sad news. You must leave this town right away. You have a disease called leprosy. I wish it were not true, but you must leave so your family and friends don't get the sickness from you. No one should ever come close to you, so if you should be a stranger, cry very loudly, Unclean! Stay away! to warn him about the danger. Hiram left town. He felt hurt and alone when everyone called him unclean. He wanted to say goodbye to his friends, but they were afraid to be seen. They hid behind stairways, peeked around doors, and climbed up the tallest trees. They were so frightened they stayed far away from their friend with the dreaded disease. He went to live in a cave nearby that he and his friends had found. When they had come there to play together, they came at a cheerful sound. He leaned against the sycamore tree and looked at the clear blue sky. He wanted to dance and sing again. Instead, he started to cry. Tears trickled down his thin, pale cheeks as he prayed, God, let me be free. I'll thank you and serve you every day if you'll cure my leprosy. For many years, Hiram lived alone. Then very late one night, when the lepers came with such wonderful news, it made Hiram dance with delight. Jesus is coming this way tomorrow. We've come to see him, they said. He must have the power to heal leprosy. He brought people back from the dead. Hiram kept dancing and shouting for joy. His happiness filled everywhere. Jesus was coming the very next day. God had answered his prayer. He tossed and turned his bed all night. He was much too excited to rest. What would he say when Jesus came? Would Jesus hear his request? The sun, this, this, what? Long. Long before the sun came up, when the air was very still, he got up quickly and left the cave and climbed to the top of the hill. He waited and watched the road for hours. His body began to ache. He closed his eyes and nodded his head. He couldn't stay awake. The sun was low in the orange sky. When Han awoke at the start, he jumped to his feet and looked around. Fear filled his pounding heart. I missed him, Han cried to himself. Something always goes wrong. Why did I miss my chance to be healed? Why did I sleep so long? Then, far away, he heard the sound of a noisy, laughing crowd. crowd. He saw the dust from their trampling feet rise in a swirling cloud. He rubbed his eyes and shook his head to be sure it wasn't a dream. A happy cheer got stuck in his throat and escaped in a sneaky scream. Lepers all ran down the hill. We're tired of being alone. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Please heal us up so that we may go home. A hush fell over the star of love. Fear danced in their terrified eyes. They began to shout, Keep away from us! But Jesus silenced their cries. He turned to the men, who were still far away, and called out across the field, Go into the village and find the priest to show him that you have been healed. The countryside rang with happy shouts as the ten men rushed to the priest. They couldn't wait to be welcomed, welcomed home with a party or maybe a feast. Then suddenly Hiram stopped and remembered the promise he had made in his prayers. He ran back and said, I thank you, Lord, for showing me how much God cares. Jesus was silent, then asked the crowd, where are the other men? Why had only this one returned when God's gift was given to ten? Of all those men, only this one remembered. To thank God for what he received. Go home to your friends, Jesus said to Hiram. You are well because you believed. Yes.